All right, guys, it's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm gonna cover the number one, the one biggest reason why people hate salespeople. Check this out. Yeah, I'm a train hard. Mistakes turn into learning scars. To build a brickyard, it's one by one, each bar. So build a tall. All right, guys, it's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about the number one reason why people hate salespeople. Now, listen to me. All my sales pros out there, Anybody and everybody who wants to get into sales, and really just anybody who's alive because you really all sell, I'm gonna tell you what to do. And I'm gonna show you how to crush and annihilate everyone. But why everyone hates salespeople, we must learn first why they hate them. And then I'm gonna tell you what you can do to rise to the top quick. So number one, people hate salespeople Number one, because they lie. Okay, and I need you to understand something, okay? I love to paint pictures. I love to tell, st tell stories. I love to, you know, sell situations, sell ideas. I use a certain way that whenever I sell, I tell, I tell parallels, kind of like Jesus did in the Bible. Like, I'll be talking about this, but I'll use this as an analogy. And by the way, I know when I say the word Jesus and I'm talking about sales, there'll be people that are haters and they're gonna get all weird. Everybody, those of you that are with me, I need you to understand this. I never lie. I don't lie. And I'm gonna to explain to you why I've rose up through the ranks so high in this industry in sales is because I have literally smoked 99% of all the other salespeople in any space for one simple reason. All I wanna do every day is become a better human being. All I wanna do is, is teach other people to become better people. I wanna teach them not to lie. I wanna teach them to, to tell the truth and to do the right thing. Now, I need you to understand this, okay? Nobody's perfect in this world. Everybody's gonna lie at some point. Everybody's gonna make a mistake at some point. My, my goal with you and, and with myself is from this point forward in our life, I want us to make a commitment together and this is how we're gonna crush everybody. You ready? Number one, we're gonna keep our word, okay? We're gonna keep our word. That means what we say we're going to do, we're gonna do. Listen up, write this down. Telling the truth means when we say we're going to do something, it means we're going to do it. And I want to explain why so many people hate salespeople. And they, people get caught up on the paint pictures, tell stories stuff. They're like, oh, I knew that. He was telling a story. And then no, no, listen to me. Whatever I say I'm going to do, I freaking do it. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. 210-0254, I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Now I can influence and persuade however I want. I can articulate my words however I want to get you to understand the picture and, 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 and what I'm going to give you and what you'll be gonna be getting with this product. But I keep my word, okay? It means if I say I'm going in the car business, I'm gonna give you an example, we'll go back to when I was younger. If I said you were gonna come in and get your windows tinted, there was a thing called a WIO, and I wrote out on the WIO, you were going to get window tint. And then I also wrote down, you're going to get touch up on your vehicle, okay, in four different spots. I also wrote down, we're gonna replace a tire. And I put it all on a piece of paper, had it signed off by me, my manager, the owner, whoever was in charge of the deal. Now, I need you to understand this. That was what someone could bring back in to get the work done. They handed that sheet over and my word was good because it was on the wheel. It was paid for. But I knew a lot of other salespeople that when they were working deals with people, they'd say, yeah, you know what, oh, yeah, um, if I could put a new tire on it, would you do the deal then? And they're like, well, if it had a new tire, I would do it. Okay, well, this has got a couple scratches. Well, if I could touch up the couple scratches, you know? Yeah, but I really wanted one with window tint. Well, let me ask you a question, hypothetically. If I could get a new tire, if I could touch up the paint, and I put a new, uh, I put some window tint on the car, then would you, would you be happy with it? And they say, well, if you would put window tint on the car, and you'd put a new tire, and you'd touch it up, then, then I'd be happy to take it. And then they go and they write the deal up, they close it on the numbers, the customer believes they're getting this stuff, there's not a WIO in place, and then they come back three days later and they say, yeah, man, I wanna get that tire, that touch up in the window tent. The sales guy goes, oh yeah, no, I didn't promise you that. I said, what if I could get it, would you wanna do it? Damn, that's the problem. So many of you salespeople, I don't know if it's you or if it's your leaders that taught you this shit. But you guys are so easy to beat and you guys are getting knocked out every day because you're weak. You're a liar, you're a fraud, and you don't tell the truth. Hey, 
I got a lot of customers that watch this channel that always try to learn the new sales tricks. Listen to me. When I sold, I was the best at what I did and anything that I told you you were going to get, you always freaking got it. Period. End of story. Hands down. That was me being a pro. It's the people that don't do what they say they're going to do that can't hold their word. Those are the people that I have problems with. So for salespeople, the number one reason why people hate salespeople, they don't hate you, they hate salespeople, labeled salespeople, is because most salespeople don't hold their word. Now I'm gonna tell you what I learned at 18 years old. My manager told me if somebody walked into a Starbucks right now and they were taking a survey on what you think about car salesmen, everybody would answer robbers, cheats, thieves, and liars. The question is, what my manager would say this every time, what would they say after they met you? That's all that matters. I don't care what they think about anyone else. All I care about is what they think about you. So, tip of the day is if most people hate salespeople and you're the best and you keep your word and you're the most skilled one out there and you're studying and you're training, you're self-developing every day, are you competing with other salespeople? Hell no, man. You're dissolving them and crushing them. So let's take this little niche, this little secret we know why people hate salespeople. Let's become good human beings. We don't need to lie, cheat, or steal. We need to tell the truth, okay? We're going to keep our word, and you've just smoked 99% of people in sales. I love you guys. Let's keep becoming more great every single day. I got your back for life. Let's go. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.